Okay. I bet you guys are all bored during quarantine because you know what? Here's the thing about quarantine. Yes, we are out of school, but we're not allowed to go out and hang out with our friends. So like, what is the point of not being in school if we can't do that? So it's kind of boring. And you know what? It gets a little old sometimes. You're like, we have 24 hours a day and if you don't ride horses or have like a lot of online classes, what are you going to do during the day, right? So. I wanted to share with you guys the best quarantine movies and most of these I've been watching throughout quarantine. So if you guys want to get your quarantine movie game on, keep watching. So the first one, I did not expect to be watching this ever again. Well, I mean, okay, not ever again. I did not expect to be watching them this year. I really didn't. But then TikTok came out. TikTok, man, it just makes you want to do things that you don't expect to want to do. I was just on TikTok and I just kept seeing Barbie movies pop up on my For You page. And I'm like, oh my god, that's a memory I forgot I had. And so I just kept like seeing them pop up and I'm like, oh my god, that's funny. Oh, what a meme. And they made Barbie the Princess and the Popper, which is the OG Barbie movie. They made that one like one of the biggest memes. And so I was like, okay, wait, I have to make a TikTok about it. So I have to rewatch it. And so I tried to find Barbie the Princess and the Popper and I could not find it for a little while online for free. <laughs> so then I was like, Wait, I still kind of want to see a Barbie movie. So then I rewatched all three Barbie Fairy Topia movies, and then I rewatched the Barbie Princess and the Popper movie. And then now I'm kind of addicted again because here's the thing for a kid movie, the storylines are actually really, really good. Like, they're actually, like, really interesting. I forgot how good they were. Graphics are a little bit weird because nowadays I'm, like, I'm used to more higher quality graphics. I'm a bit snobby like that. And it's a little bit strange back then. Like, some of the characters are, like, that. Anyway, I'm just like really impressed by actually how good the storylines are and every single Barbie movie has a strong female lead character, which is so good for kids. Like I didn't even realize this when I was younger, but then watching it now, I'm like, wait a second. These freaking women are like taking down the men. Like they're the smart ones and the men are the dumb ones and no hate to men. Love you guys. You guys are cool. But like that is so good for a young girl to watch. And I was like, wow, wow, I'm impressed. Next movie, my mom loves this one and so do I. This is so good. This is How to Train Your Dragon 3. We watched this one recently because it finally came out on Netflix, I think. It was really cute. See, my mom was like all, before this was like, Barbie movies, you watch Barbie movies again? But you watched How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> Home bag. <laughs> Storyline is so good and like, we love the dragons. They're really cute. I love Toothless because- I got Toothless. No, no, she does not. I she like Fury. Fury. Yeah. Yes, we stand. We need a toothless. We need a toothless. Show them. Wait, my dog is toothless. Show them. <laughs> my dog has like six teeth in her mouth, and like most of them are in the back, so she looks like a, she has no teeth, and we call her gummers. I love how you're wearing a nice sweater and your PJ bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> That's how quarantine is going. Anyway, this is my mom's pop figure. She really very much en enjoys it. I love it. <laughs> Also, I did this uh, like toy opening thing in my TikTok video today, and I just have to say, right? Look at the cake on this freaking toy. Like, why is its butt like that? And Jeffrey Star, oh, it's eyes. got a bigger butt than me. The so sloth. Jeffrey Star's butt. <gasps> oh my it's god! It's Jeffrey. That's a sloth of corn. <laughs> Sloth of corn. Bitch, <laughs> hi, how are ya? <laughs> Okay, Jeffrey. I'm officially naming you Jeffrey because I already forgot your name. Oh, it was Lag. His name is Lag. We're gonna name you Jeffrey. What kind of freaking name is Lag? It's kind of discriminatory because sloths are slow and when people are like, oh, you're always lagging, like it's slow. So that's so discriminatory to the race of sloths. Your real name is Jeffree Star. You're welcome. Is everybody else going loody on less corn? <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> and now that it's raining this week, I don't get to go to the barn. <sighs> oh, it's gonna make us even more loony, huh? Yes. Next one we just watched recently, it was so good, so good. We watched Little Women, and it was so, so, so good. So and Timothy good. Chalamet is so hot. So this is so funny. Um, I thought I watched this movie already, so I was like re-watching it, and then I watched like halfway through the movie, I realized no way I did not see this movie, because A, when I was younger, when I would have seen it, um, it would have scared the crapper noodles out of me because I was a little bit of a chicken nugget when I was younger. Um, and so that was like, there's no way my younger self could handle 
this because I was like it was intense bro and then I realized wait this is so different from the book because I just reread the books recently as an audiobook and it's so different from the books that it was kind of pissing me off but also it was like kind of good you're probably like what are you talking about it is the maze runner and my friend Mark and I shout out to you Marky Foo we're gonna be re-watching or I guess he's gonna be re-watching no we both haven't seen the second and third movies either okay well he rewatched The Maze Runner with me, and now we're gonna watch the rest of the movies. There's like a thing where people in quarantine, I don't know, this is trending on TikTok right now, but people in quarantine are just rewatching old movies that are like it. slapped. I love it too. I love it. Me too. Yeah. Okay, we're on the same page here. And so we're gonna do that, and I'm very excited, but like Maze Runner is intense as frick. Like, okay. Really? When you read the book and then you watch the movie, you're like, this didn't happen, that didn't happen, that is no, it's not factual, but that's okay. And they just made it really intense and more action than I was like expecting, which makes sense because the book was a bit slow. So I feel like if you put that in a movie, it'd be like not as grabbing, but I was like, whoa. And they had this one scene that I legit jumped at and I don't usually jump anymore in movies. And it was like, Pow! and I was like, Pow! Also going to be rewatching the Divergent series. Okay, I only watched the first Divergent movie and then I got lazy on the second and third one. And I was like, I wanna watch it, but I don't feel like it. But I wanna watch it. And I reread the Divergent series as audiobooks recently because girl, when you're driving 30 to 40 minutes, uh, depending on traffic, to college, and then you also have to drive <laughs> 30 minutes to the barn. And then when you have class in LA for two hours, you get bored of the car, you're like, I'm bored of the car and I'm in the car bored. Bored of the car. <laughs> I'm kidding. And sometimes music just gets you, you just get over it. And so pop on audiobook and you're never bored. You have it a book like in your head. So I just, when I listen to audiobooks, I either listen to books that I've already read before because I feel like it's, I don't know, to me I feel like it's cheating. I don't know. And then, or I read books that I'm like, I hated when I was reading this, but it's probably a good book, but I could not finish it with my eyeballs. So I'd rather have it read to me so I can ignore the boring parts. And that actually worked out really well because some books start out so boring and then they get really good in the middle. But I don't have patience for when I'm using my eyeballs to do it. I'm like, some books make me just fall asleep. Period. <laughs> that happened to me in um, AP history. I was studying for oh, my history. AP history class and I was reading my textbook and then I woke up in the morning and I had the textbook on my lap. Okay, next one. This is, okay, we're gonna have an unpopular opinion here. We watched The Marriage Story and both my mom and I found it very boring, but the acting was on par and I love, um, Scarlett Johansson. I love Adam Driver. I think he's so cute. Ew. Next one, um, my friend Mark, he got me to watch these and at first I was skeptical. I was like, I don't want to see them. But then I was like, fine, I'll do it for you, bruh. And the first three movies were really good. And then the one that we watched recently was like, Okay, it wasn't the best of the series, and that is the Pirates of the Caribbean oh, series. Good. Next one is an all-time favorite. It's called Patch Adam. My mom loves Robin Williams. It's her favorite of all-time actor, and comedian. it was comedian. Yeah, everything. Oh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was a really good movie. It was really heartwarming, and it was really sad, and I was like, wow, and I gave you the feels. <laughs> so definitely recommend that one. The next one, which you can also be super cool, Quirky and not like other girls is Back to the Future and my friend Mark and I were watching the entire series because I hadn't seen it because for some reason I thought Back to the Future was like Sky High from Disney Channel. Don't <laughs> ask me why. Classic 80s. I know it's a classic <laughs> movie. I thought I was like, why does everybody like this? Like I thought it was Sky High and I didn't like the movie Sky High. I don't think. Oh, that's awesome. But anyway, it's amazing. And so we watched the third one and I loved it so much. It was so good. It was so funny. It was like a Western. And like the funny thing about Back to the Future is like three different styles of like movies in one. It's an 80s movie, but then at the same time, it's a future movie. So it's like sci-fi. And then at the same time, it's a Western movie. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Phew. this one is so exciting. So this is not a movie per se. It's a musical that was professionally recorded. And it is the fun the opera is here so good. inside my mind yeah it's so good do, 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 do. Oh. he's there the phantom of the opera give her a tony award <laughs> give me a tony i love it so much though i want to rewatch it we'll rewatch it because it's me awesome too. he's there the phantom of the opera yeah, uh, hire me, <laughs> Phantom of the Opera. I will be <laughs> the Phantom. Oh. <laughs> Next one is Beetlejuice. If you know, and you're here for a long time, I'm obsessed with Beetlejuice Broadway. So of course, I recommend you watch Beetlejuice the movie, which 
Another classic On 80s. Classic 80s. Yeah. Unpopular opinion, though, not as good as the musical. Oh, I, I had to say it. Really? I think, <gasps> I think the musical yes. was far outdid the movie. Woo! You're going to hate me on this. You're going to really tear me apart in the comments if you get this far in the video for this, but I think Alex Brightman, who plays Beetlejuice in the musical, is the better Beetlejuice than the one in the movie. <laughs> Michael Keaton? Yes. Sorry, Michael Keaton. You're a cool dude. He always plays bad guys. Yeah. He's the bad guy. Duh. Do, 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 do. Another thing I've been watching during quarantine was uh, Billie Eilish live concerts. Those are really fun. Next one. Okay, this one's also a musical, but I also love the movie at the same time. And I really can't choose which one's better. I just can't because they're both good in their own way. It's Heathers. Heathers is a musical. Love the musical. Love it. And I also love the movie. Love the movie so much. Oh my god. Heathers is so fun. It's like you think it's going to be your normal teenage drama movie. You should have been born in the 80s. I should have been born in the 80s. <laughs> but it's not your normal average teenage drama chick flick. It's not. It's not a twisty twist and it's so good. Next one. This is also, guess it, guess it. 80s movie. Oh. It's called That Thing You Do and sadly. Oh. I think that was the 90s. That was the 90s? Jiggy! It just looks like it's from the 80s. It's really good, and sadly, yeah, the 50s. person who wrote the song, That Thing You Do, right? The songwriter? Yeah. He passed from the virus. He passed away just recently. So honor him by watching That Thing You Do. The next one, is this one from the 80s? Which one is it? Amadeus. Amadeus! No! Ah! 80s? 80s. 80s okay. Ha! I'm still quirky. It was really good. It was like heartwarming and not heartwarming at all. No, it's not heartwarming. <laughs> it was heart colding. Yeah. It was heartbreaking. Yeah. It was really good though. And it's about Mozart and uh, Salieri. Yeah. And Salieri is very jealous of Mozart because Mozart, he got that magical skill with the piano and he stuff like that. Natural talent. Natural talent. And then Salieri is like, how? Wanting it since childhood. He just jealous about it. Oh. <laughs> My mom's watched this one like 14 or 15 times quoted by her. Um, <laughs> it is Secretariat. Yeah. And if you're an equestrian, if you haven't seen that movie, Obsessed. you're officially kicked out of the equestrian community until you've seen that movie. Pretty good. I just good. love it because she's, this woman, she's so strong. Yeah. You know, and she brings back the horse. Right, and the yeah. horse, he's so, like, he reminds me of Rocket because he starts off slow and you're like, go a little faster, don't be shy, put some more. And then he like goes boom, fast. And that's kind of what Rocket does. He starts off slow and you're like, wow, he's like nice and calm today. And then halfway through the course, he's like, zoom. So my mom and I were like, let's find a lighthearted movie to watch. Like, let's find something nice and cheerful. And then I was like, oh, a horse movie. And then we like clicked on it and we watched it. We're like, oh, this is not happy at all. And it was really sad in the beginning, but it's called Walk, Ride, Rodeo. And it's so good. Like the ending is so heartwarming Netflix. and amazing. Netflix. And it's on Netflix yeah. and you guys give it the hype. It needs the hype. It deserves the hype because this girl legit got into a car accident and lost the ability to move and she got back on the freaking horse. And you know what? She didn't just do Western pleasure. No. This girl, she know full on barrel racing. Barrel racing. You know how hard barrel, barrel, barrel racing <laughs> is with like working nice. limbs? Props to her. The next one we actually saw a while ago before quarantine, but I figured, you know what? If you guys are bored, I hope you guys can scare yourself a little bit and watch The Joker. Oh, uh, so good. It is so good. So many people hated it, but you know what? I love it. I think it tells the truth about how we treat mentally ill people in society, and, and how, I think it's pretty, pretty wait, bloody. And how people become mentally ill. Yes. By being, like, abused. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like that. And then also, like... People were saying it's like, oh, it's too close to like school shooter things. And they were like, you should take it off TV. But you know what? This is educating you on why people become school shooters. So sit your ass down, <laughs> watch yourself some Joker and get educated. Like when he was on the talk show and he was like, pew, I was like, right. <laughs> You guys have to watch this because here's the thing. I'm not going to say the word because um, YouTube doesn't like it, but it starts with a C, ends with an A. <laughs> C-O-R-O-N-A. Or it has a number Plus 19. virus, plus 19. Okay, <laughs> you guys get the picture here. Well, the movie Tangled, which is a Disney movie with Rapunzel. So the freaking story is that she's literally locked in a tower, isolated. She has to be self-quarantined. And the freaking kingdom that she's being quarantined from is the kingdom of Seaward. <laughs> yes. Okay? So it, just look it up. It's facts. It's true. Look up Sea Virus and then look up the kingdom in Tangled. It's literally the same thing. So I think that's mine equals blown. Disney saw the future. Disney psychic. Maybe Disney planted it. Disney, how dare you? I knew it was Mickey Mouse. I knew 
it planted it on the back. The flying puppies had nothing to do with it. It was freaking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you guys got some movie inspiration for the quarantine time. Quarantine nation. Yeah. So if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I post. And now let me talk to you about something very exciting. You have, may have noticed that I'm wearing this. And look how cute it is. Look at that. Even his arm patches. That's so retro. That's so fun. So elbow, vintage. Elbow patches. And but elbow <laughs> patches. Okay. I was trying not to discriminate against my arm. Okay. <laughs> it's by Asmar Equestrian. You're like, whoa, how do you get Asmar Equestrian? Well, let me tell you how to get this kind of shirt if you like it. It makes you look very nice. See? And there's also really awesome, like, regular fashion. And then also equestrian fashion for men and women. And, and I hear during the quarantine, it men. pairs well with PJ bonnets. It does look <laughs> it. See? Boom. <laughs> So you can really wear it anywhere. You can really do that with your life. So if you're like probably like, how do I get this, Shayna? Wow, sounds like a great deal. Very cool. Well, there's a link in my description and also it's in my Instagram bio. It's in my TikTok bio. It's in my Facebook page. It's on my Twitter. <coughs> so many ways to access it, bro. It's so easy. So you're like, okay, I clicked on the link. What do I do? Well, it's all to you. Once you use that link, my link, don't use any other link. If you do, um, Rocket will be sad. Rocket will be very sad. He'll be actually Actually, like he'll he'll cry. You don't want to make Rocket cry. If you make Rocket cry, he's gonna poop that out. <laughs> so use that specific link when you go shopping at Asmar Equestrian. So if you're doing some online shopping during your quarantine, Asmar Equestrian, Noel Asmar. All right, now let's do some video shout out. So Jeffrey is gonna do our shout outs today. Oh. Sorry, Jeffrey. I don't know how to ventriloquist. And, and Jeffrey has some things to say, so pretend Jeffrey is talking and my lips are just sending the message to Jeffrey, okay? Hi, bitch. How are you? <laughs> First shout out goes to Mally Smith. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Next shout out, bitch, goes to Tom. Oh my god, Tom. I need my inhaler. And now, since I took a hit and went to TikTok, let's see some TikTok video shout outs. Shout out to It's Summer 789. Oh, I need a Red Bull. Shout out to Diva the Horse underscore 12. Oh, Diva's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and last shout out goes to Equestrian.crazy. Thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys want to be the next video's video shout outs, then don't forget to comment on my Instagram, Shaysway Official, TikTok, Shayna C, Twitter, Shaysway Slays, and face. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. Face away. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day. Check out my merch down below. Just got updated with some cool merch items. Yeah. And have a great day. Okay. Bye.